Let's talk about intuition. It's, it seems to be a buzzword these days. I know, right? Great conversation. So intuition um, has, I think, in some ways gotten a bad rap. I don't know that people really understand the value, what intuition is to start with, and then uh, the value in business. And yet there have been many studies, a 10-year exhaustive study. Let's talk about that because you have some really good thoughts about intuition, and I know that you apply it in our practice. Wow, that's a big Isn't it subject. All right, so Isn't it so I think maybe it's important to define it. And, and so the Good intuition start. is working from the part of the brain that doesn't necessarily access our language. It is a part of the brain that is a pattern recognizer. Um, it's a lot faster than the other side of the brain, so it picks up on things quickly, and so it kind of holistically can see a person or a situation and be able to find um, a, a sense of, of the essence of what's going on at that particular time. Intuition hopefully is not necessarily run by the ego. It is really seeing the world as it is, as, as a person is. And, and so I believe that intuition has been over many, many years, slowly squelched down because of our value around data and our value around facts. And facts are certainly fine and great and we need them, but they are only a part of the story. A fact is something that's wonderful in a way because we can also measure it. We can say, this spreadsheet, we have this particular item here that says we've lost money, we've gained money. These are facts. We could take a look at physical things and say that's a fact it, it as much as one can. But that doesn't mean that that's all that's going on, right? There's so many other factors, not using the word fact and factor incorrectly, but the point is that intuition is the ability to pattern recognize and to allow for the connection beyond fact. And so you're right, there has been a lot of uh, studies and CEOs that have said that the higher up you go, more intuition becomes important, um, that um, people are much more effective when they are able to fully embrace that intuitive side. And I've always thought that it would be nice if we could bring intuition out of the closet and into the boardroom, that, that, that we allow people not only to report to their CEOs and their, their team leaders what they're doing in their particular departments from a fact perspective, but also to create context around that, which was to say, here's what my gut says around this. Here's what my intuition says about this. I think we should do this particular merger. I think we should not. And so most decisions right now in companies are made based on facts. And in fact, you even looked at evidence-based medicine, right? Evidence-based decision-making. It's all based on what we can say is evidence. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be the best decision because an evident thing is something that has happened in the past. It right. is historic in nature, yes. right? It's not creative. It's not innovative. It is not looking into the possibility of what could be before it becomes a fact. It only looks at something that has happened in the past. So that what we end up doing is we create businesses and teams that are only doing things based on what we've done in the past. 